Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your mid October to November read of this current year. Bam! Get this. I got me an Oracle deck. Someone got it for me. And let me tell you, this is fantastic. I've never actually had Oracle decks before, so I've never messed with them. These are so much fun. I love how they give the scenario. They're perfect for like the vibrations and themes and shit, you know? So anyway, Virgo, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Virgo and Cross Watchers. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game. Just boop your nose and away we goes, right? Right. For anyone who wants a personal read, all the info is in the description box after the music a backload list or god damn it if i could talk today thank you the music channel list that i have in the description box after all of those the info for the card readings will be there newcomers first readings on the house after that everything comes with the price and i do accept tips and donations yay so let's get started we're going cross watchers your vibration is triumph of lies this is actually what's on the uh, book too so this is the very first one so let's see okay triumphal lies I actually took a minute there's a bunch of shit up front but it's cool um the moon phase and this is the waxing gibbous and this stage is bargaining kind of like uh stages of death right this is the bargaining stage if someone hurts me i change myself so it can stop the visual seat is a headless mannequins crowd against each other in under a cold neon light they are dressed in luxurious clothes and pricey accessories. Among them, one has a crown skull floating where her face was supposed to be. Her sentence is, not all that glitters is gold. Emptiness is felt when there is nothing under the dress. Going dark, the triumph of lies is about appearance, and appearance is always so important in the world. Day by day, it seems more important. Can that be a lie, too? We seek to be what the world outside desires, and not necessarily society at large. Our families or partners or friends place judgments on what we should be. In the dress we choose, we carve a mask of expectations, behaviors and values to live by. It offers stability to ourselves and to our relations, as being honest and true to ourselves can be too tiring, too easy to make us hurt. Unfortunately, the relationship with our mask is not as straightforward as it feels. Inside the mask, envy grows, vanity takes root, and lack of confidence becomes a habit. It gnaws at us and hurts us from the inside. It feels like it is ourselves, but it's not really authentic. It's just, it is just a lie we have made habit to believe in. When our lives become a gilded cage and our dress became a burden, we should remember that we were born naked. Okay, that's your vibration or Crosswatcher's vibration, Virgo. So let's go ahead and lay out your card. Oops, sorry. So let's see. I really like these cards, I have to say. These, this Oral deck is like, mm, I really like Oral decks. I don't know if I'll ever get another set, but I do like these. These are like on the Merc you know let's see virgo you got knight of wands leo sag aries ready to come in and be like yeah and battle all because they missed an opportunity somewhere with the four of cups their thoughts and feelings speak of a burden that they are ready to let go and release but virgo the root of this is because like somebody lost at a game of battle and turned out the war was going on in the background like they won a battle but they ended up losing the war you know there was some need for fairness but i feel like someone was still holding back a lot with the six of pentacles while this other person was begging um and this is co what caused somewhat of a new start like you know it's kind of like when someone dangles a carrot in front of you or a rabbit like one of those cartoon things right eventually like someone's gonna stop with like the dangling and shit um, yeah, there might have been a Queen of Wands reverse who was impatient, who was in bitch mode, who might have activated the tower, 
One's already hit reality, the other one's still following. That's why this beginning didn't start. Someone's arrogance caused the door to close with a four of wands. What about that? Okay. So, Virgo, let us see what we're going to pick up today. Triumph of Lies. This might be, I feel like this is more like a person you're dealing with, Virgo, than anything else. To be quite fair, honestly. Let's see. Yeah, there's like a bird, like, I, th I feel like someone's ready to fight because there's a burden that they don't feel fair in carrying. And that's the thoughts and feelings over here. They're carrying way more than what they should be with all of them, you know? Like, sure, they get bigger, but they get uglier, too. And they lose the need for shoes because they grow talons. It's kind of like, um... King Nebuchadnezzar. But in a fucked up way, you know? Let's see. Like, he starts out human and then he turns into a beast. He's able to carry the burden better, but, he, but when are you going to be done with carrying the burden, I feel like? Um, someone wants their candle to join the sun, be part of the light, right? Um, but they're kind of being arrogant and just releasing control because they don't have the control of how things are supposed to go down to begin with. But that's the problem with this burden to start with. It's like, hmm. It's the beginning of the burden and it's already way too much for them to carry. Then we have the four of cups down below with the, uh... Regrets of sorts. Someone might be dealing with the loss and all this shit, right? Um, they are ready to go on the attack. Attack, 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 you know? Ready to go on an attack. With the seven of wands. Just ready to start an assault in order to capture a dream that went by. Or whatever it is they dream of. There's four right there. Possibly of a relationship that started and ended way too soon that they're still mourning and can't get over, it seems like, right? You know, apparently someone couldn't let go of their betties, because that was like right underneath of that, too. Alright, Virgo. Clarify these. Let's see. All right, as above with this Knight of Wands, right? This person trying to take action. Possibly trying to get booty, but I doubt it. There's no love in this that's being given. Like, if this uh, Knight of Wands is a six of pentacle guy with all the pentacles, he's not offering anything that's close to love, but he'll use that pentacle to coax you into being his pet and be like, that's right, you let me love on you with this pentacle. Um... Fuck feelings, you know? Like, it's kind of like that. You might be feeling like you can't give people love as well, Virgo. I mean, you try to comfort people, even when they don't give you what you think that you need. Down below. Ew, I'm just dropping everything today, aren't I? Sexy. They still only had one, and I'll get the other one tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay. Yeah. Jeez. It's been almost a week. It looks like it. Let's see. Down below, the Wheel of Fortune is turning and someone is not being a victor nor are they sharing their victories in this as well, Virgo. I think this person doesn't have any love when it comes to you. I think they see the potential that you can bring them and they take that as an advantage. You were crosswalked. Here's one of the two. Oh. That's the wrong deck. My bad. Okay. Ten of Wands. Once again, this burden. like this, It's like King Nebuchadnezzar. Like, at first it was like a bit much. Now it's just much and the person got uglier and turned into some sort of hideous beast kind of thing. Not even looking like all the other decks. It's like something completely different. Wanting to take some passionate action... I feel like after you drop these wands, because you're pretty bitter and upset about things, and you just want to be comfortable where you are, you know? Down below in the root of these thoughts and feelings is Five of Swords Reverse. Somebody won the battle but lost the ultimate war. Like, they weren't paying attention to where they should have 
put their um, things where it's almost like they were distracted. You know, not noticing that this family, this door, this household is closed to them. It's like as soon as they walk in, they're gonna figure that shit out, right? They've been keeping guard. Yeah, they they weren't paying attention at all. Um, they had their back turned the entire time, trying to act like they were um, logical and shit, right? Virgo and Crosswatcher, um, acting like other people were supposed to set them free. Like they, like maybe they believed that like if they convinced enough people that they were a uh, kidnapped victim or they were a um, what is that? A victim to their circumstances, people would have mercy on them a little bit. I think, even though they're kind of the cause of this shit in the first place. Oh, this is the wrong deck. Damn. Every time, I swear. Let's see. Oh my god. After I'm done with this one, I'm going to tell you about the Leo reading I did because I thought it was absolutely hilarious. It had me laughing, like, really hard. Like, really hard? Yeah, I was, like, giggling and shit, like... Uh, okay, so up top, in the thoughts and feelings, um, I feel like Virgo, you got, Virgo or Crosswatcher, this burden, you're at the point where you're like, you'll take as many people out as you have to until someone takes you out. You're just burnt out and done. Like, you are over it. Like, you don't even care to survive this. It's just like, it doesn't matter. Seven of Wands reverse was over there as well. You don't feel empowered anymore, you know? Like, there's temptations trying to get you to hug, like, the animals, like Nebuchadnezzar, and, like, they don't want you to let go of that stuff that no longer makes you secure. Like, things are tempting you all over, I feel like. But it doesn't bring you any more success, so it's kind of like, you know, um, you're recognizing, um, the triumph of lies and all this a little bit, you know? Down below, in the Roots of the Thoughts and Feelings, the Five of Swords reverse. Yeah, this shit did not work out for this person who was playing these crazy, crazy games. We were going cross-watcher. Um, they were too busy listening to this cat who was already giving them bad ideas. Giving them even more bad ideas about stuff, you know? Ugh. Let's see. Alright. Six of Pentacles, right? Someone's dangling a carrot in someone's face. Property reasons, of course. Thinking that things are gonna bring a change of some sorts, Virgo. Um, you know, that they can um, make this terribly, terribly unhealthy and toxic relationship to the light to try to heal it or whatever, right? Oh, uh, these two popped up, and, and you know what? I'm going to say no, because this person is just, it's like they're perversing morality and ethics in order to get their way, selfishly, I might add, and under the guise of, like, um, not coming out with the information, like omitting it or keeping it hidden in the dark, you know, expecting you to not uh, pay attention to your intuition. Or they're not using their intuition to um, understand that this possibly will backfire on them, you know? Because we have the Ace of Wands reversed below this where something did not get birthed or started. And that's because someone caused this shit to happen a little bit. They manipulated this on their own. And now they gotta get comfortable feeling left out in the cold after all this shit. You know? And live with the fact that like all their insecurities are now bare and open and you can just see him looking out the window yeah Virgo I think someone's going to um I think if someone's lying to you about shit you are um figuring it out I feel like yeah down below there's four of wands reverse on this home right there's possibly King of Pentacle, possibly you, right? You're recognizing that like this person is not who you dreamed of, 
or he's not a good option for you, right? You're figuring out that just because they're pretty doesn't mean that they're cool. In fact, if you keep going with them, they'll probably leave you feeling like a junkie or a zombie or just soulless, right? You know, you just want to wave bye byes bitch, and go. <laughs> it's like, this is what I get for hanging out with swamp women. Like, they want you to come in the pool with them, and it's like, eh, I don't know how to swim. Alright, so back up top, right? Yeah, this person's not trying to allow things to end. But unfortunately, you might be able to see through their triumph of lies and know, Virgo and Crosswatcher, that this person's trying to set you up so they do look like a hero. You don't even have to see it. You still got the blindfold on, and you know exactly who it is. And it's just like, no, dude. I'm not stupid. Like, I'm literally the person who's known for analyzing in the Zodiac. Like, what the fuck? You know? Down in the second row, yeah, like, people are, are going to take off and close this door because of the temptation. You know? It's like, uh-uh, no. I'm closing this door, I know what you're trying to suck me into, and it's just, I'm not having it anymore. I don't want that to happen anymore, you know? Could be with a Capricorn for sure if you're dealing with one. Alright, last row. Um, this person wants you to be their servant. This is my servant. This is my servant. You know, that's, if you've never seen, um. I don't, I can't remember what it's called, but it's by Wham City. It's like live footage of a bear or some shit, right? And it has some weird Benadryl commercial. And this chick takes the Benadryl. But then you see all these fucking cartons around the Benadryl in the back of her car. And you realize this bitch has had a problem with putting shit up her nose and sniffing it so she doesn't feel, um, groggy. She has that Claritin clear, right? And then, like, all of a sudden, like, at the end of the road, like, she sees a version of herself crazy, angry, mad, doing whatever, running up, beating the crap out of this bitch, right? And then running herself over with the car, taking over who she is, and like, literally running the house. Which it's, it's almost like a symbolism of the drug addiction, but there's this one song called This Is My Servant, and I really kind of want that song on my phone at some point, but it, it's pretty good. But this person wants you to be their servant, like to feed them. To take care of them almost, which, you know, that's, like, you don't mind doing that, Virgo, but to a fault, you know. I'm, I'm not gonna be your bitch, you know, I hear you say. And you know that it, it's time to go. It, it's just time to go, Virgo. You know. So, yeah. Um, that's your reading, Virgo. You are, I don't, I don't think you guys are the ones with, if you guys are with the Triumph of Flies, eh. But whoever's got those lies, man, it, it, it's not helping them. They're just lying to themselves. And unfortunately, Virgo, you're going to have to be the dude who makes sure that they understand that, like, they're wrong. Now, well, you know, you're, you're probably going to get joy at seeing them suffer a little bit. But, that, but that's you, Virgo. That's you. But that's the end of y'all's reading. So if you all enjoy this, please like, share, and subscribe. Oof, sorry I had the hiccup. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I would greatly appreciate it, of course. Um, you guys have a good day, because I forgot what the hell I was going to say. So, um, I love y'all's faces, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.